everyone thought I'd show you what I got from Alexandra Pally or Ali Pally. Um, so I'll start with my stamps. So I've got a couple of good deals from stamps, I think. So I found this one in the pound in the pound bucket. And then I got these ones from for two pound I think, two pound fifty. Um so that'll be good to use. I can't wait to try them. And these were two for five pounds, which I thought were brilliant. Oh, I've lost signal. There we go. So we've got this one, which is a tree. And so you you stamp the tree out, and then down the bottom here, you've got like separate leaves and flowers, and you can stamp them out individually onto the tree. And I think this would be really good for weddings if you want to do one of those guest books or something like that. And people can stamp them out themselves. Um, so I thought that would be really good. And then I got, uh, with the two for five pounds, I got this brick one. I can't wait to do some cards. I mean, there's some, there's some, as a, there's a beautiful example here on the front, if I can show that. Is that yeah, that works. Um, so I can't wait to try that out. Oh, it's going to be really nice on a layout, I think. Just like one side of the 12 by 12 on that. And that'll be really nice. We'll give that a go. And then I'm going to move on to my embellishments. So I bought a lot of flowers this time. A lot of flowers. Because I do, I do like using flowers on my um, layout. So I got these ones, which I thought were really pretty. Um, you can see them, they're blue and pink and they've got like, like little, little white petals on the inside. They're really nice. And then I got some white ones from the pound store there. Um, oh, hold on. So this other little box here, let's take them out. Um, it comes with, it comes in this packet. I can, I've opened them already and made some of them up already absolutely loved them it's something you can just do in front of the telly so it's called flower making kit you get a packet of these which has got like um the stem in the bottom and things to like push the push the flower together um and you get given like a bunch of these nylon leaves like nylon petals and you can make two different types you've got this type where it's flat and you can put something in the middle um and you can put them on um cards or layouts or you can make these ones where they're bunched up so i've made a couple already i say a couple i've made quite a few already and um, let's lay them out here so you can have a look and see so i made this one where it curls up on the inside i don't know if you can see that so it curls up and it like look like there's like a I can't for the life of me work out what flower that reminds me of. I think it's a lily. Or like a water, yeah, a water lily, I think it is. Made some more of those bunches. Um, oh, another one. And another one. <laughs> so I made a couple of the power ones. Um, I You don't get the gem. You don't get any gems with the flowers, but you can add your own. And I added these pearls which I got on in the show as well. So, I mean, you can make as many as you like. And I've made already a card using these flowers, which I'll show you here. So it, it, it's a shaker card. I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, yeah. And I've got a couple of them stuck on the front. And I've got this happy birthday, which will be backwards to you. But it says happy birthday there. So yeah, so that was the flowers, um, some flowers I got. And I thought it'd be really nice that I can make some up a bit, and I will get some more um, if they're that easy to come by. I can get some more of them. Um, other ones. Oh, yeah, I got quite a few flowers on the um, twenty-five feet stall. As I said, I do like using flowers on my layouts. Um, so I've got purple ones. These are like organ they're organza ones. 
I was about to say they're like organza. No, they really are organza. Silver, white, blue, and red. They're ones that are more like, like, um, it says cross grain. You'll probably know more about that than I will. Than I do. It's like, I think it's a different way that the, different fabric and a different way that they've made the flowers. These ones are a bit squished. But I got them as well. I feel like once I bunch them up a bit, I can put them on some, on some stuff. But they're posies, so give them a try. Um, what else did I get? This, uh, I got some ribbons, some little little bow ribbons. I don't know if you can see them. So some pink ones, so some blue ones. So they're nice. Uh, I got one of these. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use them yet. But I'll give them a go. Or you can do a try. So we will see. Um, I've got some washi tapes. You can never go wrong with a bit of washi tape. To be quite honest with you, I've got quite a big selection of washi tape. Right here in there. So we just we just add them to that. Just keep it growing. Keep it growing. Um as we have. So I also got a Versafine ink pad. Didn't know the words then. A Versafine ink pad. I just find that it's so intricate and it works so well with all the stamps that we use at craft. So I just at group. So I just thought, you know, why not give it a try myself? Um and see what happens there. here. I got some of these snowflake brads. I didn't realise they were brads when I picked them up, but I will give them a go because why not? Why not? I got some of these. They are lips. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're little. Br I think. I think they're just stick on. I don't think that they're Brad's either. But they were in the Brad's box, so I got some of those. I like sparkling. Some more gems. I picked up some of them. They're really pretty. I do really like those. I mean, some of them have got a couple of black bits in the middle, like here. But I'm sure I can just poke them out with a pokey tool. It'll be fine. So they're like the embellishments and stamps. Moving on, I wanted to try. I've seen on the, um, I've seen in the craft world that there are some tools that I really wanted to try. So I've already got embossing stuff. I've already got that. However, I wanted to try this bonding stuff. So you can use any glitters once you have put bonding powder on your project. Because I was bought for Christmas. Let me show you. I was bought the sparkles for Christmas. However, I wasn't aware that these were only different to I don't know if you can see the colour on the bottom. No, okay, it doesn't work. I wasn't aware that there was any difference. However, now that I do know that, that there is, I bought bonding powder to try and emerge the two together. So we'll see how that goes. Um and then while I was there because there was a deal on. It was five for 10, no, five for 10. I think it was five for 10 pounds. So I got opaque pastel blue, Turkish nights, foil gold, which literally looks like rose gold. That's gonna look so nice. And misty sky. And this one's like, like I don't know if you can't really tell. 
but it's got like loads of white stuff inside the it's really nice so i got those with the bonding powder um with the bond yeah but with the bonding powder i'm gonna give them a go they're all um embossing embossing powders but i have got a couple of glitters that i'd like to try as well so i'll give them a go i also found in the um pound stall pink embossing powder from paper i'm not going to try paper my paper ma ma mani mania paper mania we'll get there in the end um the other thing that i really wanted to try and i had seen people using i don't know how to use them yet i know what they do and i know what you can do with them but i haven't tried them on anything yet so we'll give them a go is nouveau drops i bought i bought six from one stall and then found another one for like really cheap so i picked them up so i will go through which ones they are and then go from there. So we have got caramel cream, which looks really nice. That's, actually, that is my favourite one so far. And I have used it on a card. However, I can't show you the card because it's for my mum's birthday and it's coming up. And I've already sealed it in them <laughs> before I took pictures of it or anything. So what else is there? We have got golden sunset. I don't know if you're seeing any of these, but if not, I will take pictures of them. I have also bought Emerald City, which is really nice. It's really glittery. I don't know if you can see any of these, but if not, let me know. Um, sea Breeze. This is the one that I picked up at a different stall. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then we've got Sherbet Shimmer. Then we've got Midnight Sky. I'm showing you that way because I'm thinking like all the glitter will show up at the bottom. Um, and then we've got Red Berry, which is red. It looks like coral in the in the camera, but it is red. It's very red. We also I also bought, which is very similar, however it's just completely clear, is glossy accents. So you can turn anything glossy with this. For example, if you're stamping a per a person or stamping an animal, you can make their noses look wet which is really nice and really cute. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. Um, what else is there? Right, I also bought... I did buy quite a bit. I bought some pastes. These is, again, something I wanted to try. I'd seen people using them through stencils and on various different pages and different layouts. I still haven't figured out exactly the right way to use them yet i ha did buy a spatula to go with them however this is actually one of the most not it's not difficult to use it's just very awkward because when you're putting it through the stencil this picks up and it catches on the stencil so i'm really considering getting a silicon one however it's going to be a little bit more money but if i'm going to use them that much then i might as well spend a bit more money so I got um, a really, this one's really gorgeous actually. This one's called Midnight, Moonlight Sea. And it's, it's really beautiful. Really stunning. And then I bought, this one's just white. And I'm going to add some stuff in it. But this is a new brand. None of the craft, none of the... Um, Ladies at the craft group that I go to on the workshops, they hadn't, they didn't know this brand, and I've never seen this brand, so I'm not going to try and pronounce the brand, but it's Dutch something or another. Do badu, do badu, I don't know. Textured paste, it's 
It says transparent, however, it's not transparent. It comes out white, so we'll see how that goes. So they're like the main tools that I bought, except from the biggest tool that I bought and the biggest purchase and the best purchase and the most, the best thing I could buy was a stamping platform. And I had seen a lot of stamping platforms on the market. And I don't know, I just really, it wasn't because it's Tim Holtz, it's not because it's any, anything specific with who it is. It's just because I think it was the biggest one it's got the fact that you can flip it. You can do two lots of stamps, like two different types of stamps on it. I don't know. It just it just feels more durable, and it doesn't feel like it's going to break or just not work. Whereas the other ones felt really flimsy to me. And I don't know. There was just something about this one. I just I just really liked. I just really prefer this one to the Misty. And I didn't know if there were any other stamping platforms on the market other than this one and the Misty. My preference, this one. It's bigger. I do a lot of 12 by 12 layouts. And I think it's just going to do me better than the Misty would. I also saw a little hack on YouTube where you put tape around your magnets so that they're easier to pull off. Has worked well for me. Um... So that, that's another little trick. So you just put a little bit of low tack tape around your magnets and then they just, they just stay. It's worked so far. So that is that. My other little favourite bit is this. So I wasn't expecting to find any scrapbook stuff there. I didn't go there expecting that. But I did find that, and I'm quite impressed that I did find this. So, there was a stall that was selling 12 by 12 um, cardstock, and you could, they were selling it by the bag, um, or 20p per sheet, which I thought was really, really good. However, I didn't have a tenner, so otherwise I would have filled the bag up. But I'd spent all my money at this point. <laughs> So, I'm going to show you the layout, the pages that I've got. So, I bought you know, this one, which is beautiful. It's got loads of dots on it, gold dots. And they're really gorgeous. I don't even know what I want to do with the pages yet. However, I really like them. On the other side, it's got stripes. And they've got gold and black and grey stripes. So, that's that one. i put them under here. Um... This one, a little bit different. It's got some flowers on it. Um, I don't want to use them. This is the problem with um, when I buy layouts. This one has got like little flowers. So little flowers on them. It's really pretty. Um, then we've got this one. Just another patterned one which I thought was really nice and on the back it's stripes. It's got a little bit of wording on there. I don't know if you can make that out. Nothing too horrendous. But it'll be a really nice layout. And then this one is like a oh, fully, fully, something fully. Life me remember that's called. This is <clears throat> Teresa Collins Sweet Afternoon Collection. I should probably tell you that there are the other ones are sweet are Teresa Collins as well. The first layout was um Tinsel and Company, so I think that might be a Christmassy layout or something. So so this one, yeah, Teresa, which I showed you that one. That one's got diamonds on the back. And it's got some writing there as well. So I think I like Teresa Collins. This is the first layout, the first um, collection of hers I've ever seen. So, and I think I've chosen all of her layouts. <laughs> all of her pages, should I say, from this collection. So we've got um, this one. It's really pretty. 
really big flowers on the front with like detail inside and then on the back we've got just lined paper child skull books all the same collection sweet afternoon Teresa Collins then we've got this one and the back photo frames it's really pretty now this one does not have a collection it is just It's not a collection as such, but it comes from a company called Making Memories and it's glittered in like slightly embossed circles, which is very pretty. So that was the pa the pages, the papers that I got. This is something very different and I thought this would be good for embellishments more than anything, but I don't think I actually read the front of it when I picked it up. I just saw that there was really cute pictures inside. But it's called the Niche Gallery Gallery Art Pad. And I mean the stuff that's inside is some really beautiful pages. I'll try and give you a show. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I haven't opened it yet, you see. So it's got like little things that you can put on the wall. I'm going to open this, I think. How sweet it is to be loved by you. That's really pretty. So you just like can put these on your wall. Me and you. And then you've got like some other little bits here, which I could cut up. Together is a wonderful place to be. It's really cute. Um... This one's nice. This one's just says love with loads of hearts. Um, all you need is love. You are just my cup of tea. And then some dots. It says I love this. Oh, oh I love us, sorry. Um, and then you've got the alphabet one. I've got I love you. And this one says I want a spoon. Want a, I like that. Want a spoon. Um... And these are really pretty actually. These are I heart I heart us happy. What I'm saying always and forever. I really like this. This is really cute. My world. See, I just picked it up because I thought it was really cute. I didn't actually see what was inside. So I'm glad I bought it now. It tells you different ways to put them up on your wall. And it tells you how to. Really cute. Yeah. So that's it. I think that is everything that I got from this craft show um oh no last three things or four things was these stamps i got them on the 25p store i don't know if you're going to be able to read them oh you can your friendship is the catch of a lifetime this is that one and we've got this one it says I'll put it upside down. Knowing you has made my life bloom. This one looks like a Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see the Christmas tree. Yeah. And then this one says live. Live, inspire, dream with something. Yeah. So that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, have a lovely afternoon. And the next time that I go on to video will be live tonight. I'll be going doing a Facebook Live this evening to finish off my elephant page. So 
come join me. Thanks, guys. Bye.